Hi everyone, my name is Milou, I'm a marine biologist and a whale watching guide and welcome to the Whale Zone series. In this episode I will answer the question, do whales have graveyards where they prefer to die? Be sure you turn on notifications to receive more videos about marine wildlife, like, subscribe and comment and check the links in the description below. It does seem like whales have specific places where they go to die, but it's not known if those are preferred places or if these are places where they are led to by natural circumstances. So, for example, on the northern tip of New Zealand's South Island, there is a long bar of sand called Farewell Spit, which is a hotspot for whale strandings, especially pilot whales. And the University of Tasmania has analyzed stranding data from the last 82 years, and they found that every 11 to 13 years, there are peaks in stranding records and probably in this place the weather is a factor because every time a peak year occurs uh, changes in the wind patterns occur as well. The altered winds may have driven nutrient-rich waters towards the coast leaving the whales in too close. They can also cause storms which can disorientate the whales and mislead them into the wrong area. Once they are stuck in the shallow water they will tire quickly, strand and then unfortunately die. One of the theories is that animals strand themselves when they are very weak because they don't want to drown. Many times a group leader that is old and sick leads the rest of the pot to shore to die as well. Not every whale that dies washes ashore of course, there are some that sink and some that float. Sperm whales, for example, they float after death as they have a huge oil chamber inside of their head which makes them do so. And blue and humpback whales, they sink after prolonged time at the surface. And then the whale carcasses or whale falls as they are called, they provide a huge source of nutrients and food for organisms in the deep sea. Thanks for watching and see you next time! Bye.